Hey guys. Okay, I'm coming to you with a quick Frank Garcia Studio haul and a few how-tos on some of the products I purchased. So let's dive in. Okay, so I went ahead and purchased this Reactive Mist and it's $5.99. This is for those of you that own Minks, and I do, I own the large one. And this right here is extra amazeballs. So right here, let's see if I can get that. Okay, do you see that, that foiling? This paper doesn't come with foiling at all. And I added that on there, my friend Leah, um, who um, teaches classes and she showed on the last live on how to use this mist and it gave me life. So with this right here, you'll see, cause I just went ham. He has this dye also available. He just um, stocked these dyes in his store, which I didn't know cause I purchased this from actual, I think it's the stamp doctor. I went straight to them and purchased it cause I wanted this so bad cause this was in a previous card kit and I had to have it, but now he has them available. So if you wanna get your hands on those, but what you do is you get your piece of paper, whatever size paper it is, you get this, you spray all over, you let it dry completely. Then once it's dried, then you get your foil, you put your foil on and then you take the foil off and then it will only pick up the little speckles from the mist. And that's what creates this. It's insane, amazing. I was so excited when Leah showed us how to do this. I was so beside myself. So now I've been just going crazy spraying this and everything. So just so you know, that's how that works, okay? Because I've had my, my mink for a year, guys, and I've never used it because I need to be inspired. I need to see people using it. So um, that's that. Then... I got this right here, which is the Glitterific Icons, and it comes, this is the new thing, They this new um, line of icons. Frank has, I think, four or five other colors, but this is the only one that has like the, um, the flowers, butterflies, and the octagons. The other ones, I believe, are just like confetti, and they're still beautiful, but I wanted this one first. So, and they're all different colors, gorgeous. Let me show you how this bad boy looks. Well, actually, and then let me show you this. This goes with it. These right here, if, if anything else, you must go to his studio and you must buy these ASAP. These right here are intended for all the glitterifics. And I was, he had these and I wasn't gonna get them because if you guys know, when you have big chunks like that, it's so hard to get all of those on whatever it is you're putting them on. Most of them get wasted on your brush. So since they came out with these silicone ones, which are insane amazing, I'll use this one this time. And you'll see they're just a silicone. They're not bristles or anything like that. They're intended for these guys. These are like uh, amazing. Here, let me show you the prices so I don't forget because I'm going to start jibber jabbing and I'll forget. So this right here, $5.49. And then this right here is $7.99. And this is what it's called. And let me show you how it looks. You guys are going to die. Like it's insane. Look at that. Look at how flipping gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh. My girlfriend, Angela, loved, um, it's, I love pink dragonflies on YouTube. She made a bunch of these rolls for me like this. And I was like, mm, I'm about to bling them bad boys up. Look it. And then I have this one right here. My friend Nat made these heart rosettes for me. And look at that. Gore stinking Jess. Insane, amazing. So let's go ahead and do one together. Here's another heart that Nat did for me. Okay. So what you do with these. Okay. You can go like this, but you get so much stuff stuck up there. It, it makes no sense to do that. Just squeeze the bottle. Let it come up a little bit. Get yourself a little glob of it. Okay. Get whatever it is you're going to put on it and then you're just gonna smooth it out okay do you see this how it has none of them and everything is on here not on here like it would be if you were to use a brush I was like, oh my gosh, that's why I avoided getting this thing because of that reason. Anytime you use, you know, things that have chunky stuff like this, you never get it all on your project. 
Okay, so you're just smearing it around and make sure you smear it good so it doesn't get all clunky in one section. Okay. Look at that. And look at this. Oh, there's one left. And then we'll just put it back on there. So see, nothing. This is insane, guys. And look at that. It's perfect. It's like perfect. Oh my gosh. I am so in love right now. <laughs> I just want to put Glitterific on everything. So um, when I go this weekend to um, do his live, I'm going to get the rest of them. Because these are insane. So now I'm going to bust out all my other Glitterifics and use this instead. These are so worth the money. And all you need is your baby wipe. And it'll wipe right off. So just know that this is an amazing investment. It's not even an investment. It's only $8. Seriously, it's not that expensive. So anywho, that's what I use for that. All right. Now let's move on. And I got one of these jewel pickers. I love this thing. I picked this up for Nat. I already have one. It's $5.25. I use these for all of these little, like this right here. These are all Swarovski crystals. So I use this picker for these because I had the other one. I think it was Wear Memory Keeper with the blue gooey stuff. Oh my gosh. I was so over that dang thing. So over it. Okay. And then let me show you what else I picked up from. He just got these in, guys. This is part of the sweet story. These are the thickers. And I picked up two of these because these are insane amazing. And I had to have the whole collection. Isn't, aren't these gorgeous? Oh my gosh, guys. When I see them, I'm like, ah, let me jack two of those immediately. So I grabbed two of those. He also got these in, which are the rubber accents. So I only grabbed one of these. I've never really played with these, so I didn't want to go crazy on those. I got that one. Then he also got the six by eight. The six by eight does have things that the 12 by 12 or the six by six does not have, which is trickery if I tell you. I have all of them, so, <laughs> but I noticed that they're not all the same. So here, this one is, it has gold foiling on it, single-sided still though. Let's move this over here. This one of course is in there this one look at this right here guys look at this draft it's gold foiling dots see that's not on the other paper pads so of course you know and I even bought individual sheets because you know once this goes it goes you know I mean gracious so yeah some of these are in there but there's some that are not so I'm like you guys that you knew you knew better than that <laughs> it makes you buy all of them there's no foiling on this one oops oops I tell you, doing this at an angle is no easy task. Okay. And there we go. That's the end. This is the six by eight. You see all the foiling. And then there's the price. And these also were um, next to that section as well so because there's a lot of black in it so these are the um they're called sorbet thickers so they almost kind of look like an epoxy but that's like the script of it so these are really nice these will be perfect to go with the sweet story okay and that was 5.99 also too he did get the acetate for the bloom collection so i did grab two sheets of this and these ones are $1.99, I think, or is, oh no, $2.99 for these acetates. Gorgeous. Okay. 
also. Um, he, I am starting to get my collection up of all the Basil cardstock, the 110 pound weight. I absolutely fell in love with this. I don't know why I sat and waited so long, but these are the colors that I got. Okay. And I believe these are 199 each for this cardstock. So, cause I tried to look for it so I could buy the kits and they always have them like 50 of one color. I don't want that many of one color. So I just buy a few at a time when I go there. He also is um, carrying this mat board. This is like a heavyweight mat board. So I haven't played with it. I wanna try it out and see, but this is perfect like if you're gonna build a box. I don't know how this will be running it through a die because this is super thick. This is thicker than the white mat board that I have that I got from um, Tara's um, her store, Urban Gems. This one right here is just, it's a lot heavier. So if you're gonna make something super sturdy, then that's where you would use this. So I bought a few sheets of these and these are $1.99 as well. So he just got those in. Then um, also too, he did get the Santor, he has more Santorini collections. Just so you know guys, if you missed out on getting the Santorini collection, um, he does have more kits available. So I'm gonna show you right now what I made and also too, this is the machine I used right here, okay? So these right here, we all know that they came from Tuesday, well, everybody got them from Tuesday morning. So these, he is selling at his store now and they come with a different kit. So I have one that I have on my desk, it's like right over there. And then this one I'm just gonna keep in my craft bag so that I can just take it with me and I have to take my other one. This one comes with all different things right here. So let me just show you, cause he's gonna have these for $39.99 tomorrow. And um, this right here is like, one of those stamp presses. So you put your stamp in there, you press it. I've never used or owned one of these. So the, this actually works really cool. I do like the, how it works and it's small and compact. I do have the Tim Holtz one. So this is much easier to carry on smaller projects. Now, of course it comes with your, um, your three plates for stamping and dyeing. Then it comes with these stamps right here, which I'm gonna show you how they work and how they all coordinate with one another. And then this embossing folder. And then these stamps are layering stamps, okay? So these right here, you see there's one, here's the two. And then this right here, you would pick the sentiment you want to go in the middle. It's completely up to you which ones you would want. They all go in the middle of that one, okay? And then this is the die and embossing and it cuts it into a tag. So once you get done stamping, you put it in here, it does all the cutouts and the die and it looks so cool. So let me show you how this one looks when you do this one. So it looks like this once you die cut it out and once you layer everything on top of this is using um, stamp pads and this right here is intended to do that. So it comes out like this flat, but then you'll see that there's two lines right there and you're supposed to fold it like that so that it gives it more of a 3d look and it does the same down here as well like this so you can put your um, dimensional tape back here so that it sits up okay so that's how this one looks and see right here is my fail I wanted to show you guys this really quick this is because when you use these type of stamps um, you have to be careful what type of ink you use. So I was using my old school stamps, the, um, oh my gosh, the, let me show you really quick. Okay. So for instance, I have like the Lawn Fawn, right? These are amazing ink pads, but because these ink pads have like this canvas topping, it doesn't stick to acrylic as well, okay, you would need an ink pad that is like this, that's spongy. This is what sticks onto that. And because there's a lot of bold um, images like this right here, that's bold, it's harder to stick. So this one works good, but I don't have very many of these type of stamp pads. I mean, you always know these are old school. 
okay? So what you do in that case is that if you have this type of ink pads, which most of us do, the trick to it is you use your Versamark. So you get your Versamark, you stamp this first onto your stamp, not a lot, just enough to get it tacky, okay? Then you go ahead and then you get this and then you ink it on top of that. And that is how this came out. So you see how much more bold it is in comparison to this? It's like, it's like the same ink pads, but I was mixing colors because I was trying to do it so many times to see what it would, what I could do. And Frank is the one that told me that. He told me about that trick where you stamp it with a Versamark, then you use that ink pad and it sticks. And look at how bright and it just looks better. You do it a couple times and it turns and it comes out like that. And these are the way the balloons look. So those are not the imperfections. That's the way it is on the stamp. But so you see how much better that is? So nice little tip, just so you guys know, if you ever have that problem, Versamark is the, is the trick. All right, then you also get these stamps right here that say cheer, and these are also layering stamps as well. Okay, and then it comes with this die and embossing folder. And, oh, I showed you the wrong one. This one <laughs> was for this one. The Cheers, that one, it looks like this. Let me show you guys. Okay. So these look like little fireworks. So they're sticking out like this. And then what I did is I'm gonna show you a project. I put this on top of a card, you know, you put it on top and you can trace around it so you can put it in the back like a glitter cardstock. And then it'll look like glitter underneath. So this one was really cool. I've never used layering type of stamps and I normally stay away from that, but it was, I liked the challenge. So I did have a blast doing that and you see how much more bold it is because I used that trick with the Versamark. And then this is how it looks when you use the type of sponge like this, but these are very light colors. They're not bold, but um, you'll see how it looks. So it gives it kind of like Tim Holtz's, um, What's that called? That other ink he just came out with that everybody uses. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. But it looks like this, oxidized, there you go. Those um, stamps that he came out, that would probably be perfect with these. Cause look at that, it comes out kind of matte in a sense, but I love that look too. It just depends on what look you're going for. And it also, this kit also comes with a stack of cardstock in vanilla and in white. The vanilla, tends to it's a heavier cardstock than the white which is odd but whatever so that's how those look okay guys so that's all the stuff that you get with this for $39.99 so for a lot of you that did not get um to get the one at Tuesday morning which I did I got that one for $25 and it does not come with any of these okay so that is very cool that it comes with all of these plus the stamp press that's in there for $39.99 okay and so we have, this is the project I did. And this right here is what I will be doing tomorrow at Frank Garcia's um, live. So I did a policy envelope. I love making these, they're super easy. I've made them for a very long time. I used the Santorini paper. And then I used my We Are Memory Keeper pay, um, hole enforcer. So you'll see that layer on top of that. And then I did that on that side as well. I just hole punched through. I also did scallop punch. Okay, so you'll see right here, I did, I used my EK Success border punch and I did it all the way around the top. And I figured I would try something new because either I create these with the flap on it or I use a bag topper and I'm thinking, well, let's try something different. So I used the washi tape that comes with it. I did it all the way around and I wrapped it around and I used liquid adhesive at the end because washi tape always lifts, guys, always. So I wrapped it around and then um, I put a little bit of liquid adhesive at the tip of it so that it doesn't lift. And these are two different washies I layered on top of each other. Here is the tag and this tag right here it is that die that's right here. It's the um, die I showed you and I just traced it because I didn't use the actual um, cheers that it had. And 
what I did is I used all the Santorini collection. This is part of the flowers that comes in the, in the kit that he's selling. This is the acetate from the ephemera. And I believe this, at, this one right here came from Tara. I think she gifted me these, um, uh, what you call it? I don't know if this came in the kit. I'd have to, I'd have to look, I don't remember. And I used there, there it goes again, which is the um, glitterific icons. I put it on the flower. This right here is the, emboss I embossed it instead of using stamps. So I busted out my embossing um, powder and I just started embossing it because I haven't used that in forever. And you'll see right here, guys, oh, it also comes with these four dies right here. And this die I used right here. I stamped the thank you and I die cut it out. And these coordinate with the stamps as well. The first one that has all the sentiments on it. Okay, this is an acetate from the collection. This acetate, this is an ephemera piece, a square piece right here. I have it lifted on dimensional tape. I lifted this on dimensional tape. This right here is a little bow that I put together and that is using um, the Lawn Fawn dies that also comes, and I chuck it. <laughs> and he also has the Lawn Fawn bow dies. This is the smallest of the three. He also has these in his store. And then I put the um, We Are Merit Keeper um, eyelet, well, the paper, re the whole reinforcer. And he does have those, I believe, in the studio as well. I've had this for a super long time. And then I just hung a little charm, grabbed some jute and to hold it all together. So super duper cute. I absolutely love it. This is what I will be creating live. Of course, I'll have to change it up a little bit um, tomorrow. I'll keep all the information below as far as to the studio and also how to get to the live. So definitely join that. Frank will be on there and also Leah, who will be showing how to use more, showing how to use the mink and um, different techniques. And also too, Karen will be on there and she will be showing lawn fawn. She will be doing something with the lawn fawn stuff. And then me, I will just be creating a, this type of project. So it's just something small and simple, not anything that's too much because we're not gonna be on there all day. So yes, make sure you guys get in on all of the goodies, all of the sales. He will have, I believe, a 15% off of total purchase. And that is not including, like for instance, this machine, since it's already discounted and other discounted items, he will make sure to let you know what's not included. But other than that, anything else in the store, it's 15% off your total purchase. So um, yeah, guys, that's it. Make sure you go take a look and I will see you guys later and hopefully you guys stop on by our the live. I would love to see you guys. All right. Bye, guys.